Welcome back to the Telosim Tech Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, 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 we have a full panel. We're back to normal. We got the boys. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Where have it's I heard this be before? Back. Thanks for having us back, boys. If this episode doesn't make it to air, we riot. Yes, we're going to be rioting. In but you case. won't hear us Keep because. Look out. <laughs> it won't be what are they rioting the about? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why he's so They're angry. just upset for some reason. But Randy called me a hypocrite last week. Mm. I did? It sounds like something I would have done. I don't why? remember this. <laughs> I wasn't here, so I'm I here to address this. Knowing. Okay, let's do it. I, I called you a hypocrite about something, and I'm excited. Friction. Am I the only, oh! I'm the only one wearing one now? Wow. You are. <laughs> You're the only one. Why? Mike is a true apple sheep at this point. What happened? To be Drew? fair, I had to take it off in the middle of the day because I had a activity going on for like two hours and it drained the battery down to zero almost immediately. Oh, that's so that makes sense. I too would also be in this call. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. What what made you change again, Drew? This time it's sold. It's gone. Wow. I don't have it anymore. I don't own it anymore. Just to verify as proof, when I open the Apple Watch app, uh, it's backwards. Oh. <laughs> good morning. Oh, no, it says good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's no longer paired. I'm I'm disconnected. Sorry, Randy, I didn't keep the iPhone 15. I'm going full hermit. I'm I'm abandoning the technology. My whole Apple ecosystem is on my desk. I got my AirPods, my Mac, and my iPhone. That is now all. That's I'm not me. The Apple TV that technically belongs to Mike. So, Wait, I got. It was one. a gift. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, not like only do I have me. Apple AirPods Pro in my ear, recording on the 15, and I got my Mac powering the whole thing, and that's it. But even with oh, yeah, it comes... you're on the 15. Yes, I am. Can you tell? I don't know. That's re... can we tell with the recording quality? Can you see my uh, pores? <laughs> Discord doesn't allow <laughs> that to happen matters. on my end. Okay, but all right. Well, um, but when I say that's all my Apple uh, 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 ecosystem, I also am talking about the accessories. I went a whole podcast because we did EV first with eluding you guys, but I also ditched. My accessories for the first time <gasps> introducing my new keyboard and mouse. What? Goodness. what the heck is that? Oh my god. I like it the keyboard. We're not sponsored, like by the way. We're not sponsored, <laughs> but I mean, Logitech, hit me up if you want to, you know. We should be. We should Come be. Come on. This, this is old that school. That thing can power us up. This thing is old Macintosh cutter looking mechanical keyboard looking like a typewriter here. And uh, what the a I feel like go- Johnny Depp. Why did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I went a whole podcast without typing when you guys are. Hey, did you? I, I stayed off of the internet because I wanted to show you. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? Oh. No, I mean, for you, probably. Thank you for not typing. Oh, I like how Discord says Randy is typing right as you did that. <laughs> All right, I got like the real time feedback. Yeah. Okay, you have some explaining to do. Okay, it's quite simple, really. Uh, I'll just be uh, transparent for a second. We had a secondary... Uh, found them on the side of the road. <laughs> we had a secondary um, Amazon Prime Day. Uh, as of recording this, I think it was two days ago or something. It's just this week. This sometime oh, this yeah. week. Yeah. And we are Prime That's members. That's a thing. Yeah. Um, I had points. Uh, I didn't pay for this. I think this runs... Full, full retail, I think it runs $100, but uh, I got it at a discount, Whoa. and then I used points. It, it's, for, it's for the pair. It's, it's, it's for the uh, for both. It's 100, 100 bucks for both. Okay. For, for both. Okay. Um, and they're like mappable keys. Could have got blah, blah, one blah. Magic Mouse or both of those. Yeah, right? So um, for me, it was like Lightning or Bluetooth, and they run uh, AA batteries, but uh, Log- Logitech says it mm. takes – two to three years before you need to replace the batteries. I was like, well, we'll see. Here's here's really? what I'm really doing. That's pretty good. I'm buying time because you get a 30-day return window with Amazon. And if we don't get a refresh this month with, uh, you know, MacBook. <laughs> yeah. 
Big brain. It's all making sense. Big brain. There it is. It's all coming together. Come on now. You know me. But if we don't get a refresh with USB-C peripherals, then this is going to be my new main. And if we... So what's the timeline then? How? What's the deadline for for the USB-C magic except? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just realizing what you've done. and it's <laughs> Big brain, right? Yeah. Big brain. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big brain. I uh, the timeline yeah. is October, I guess, because I I got the whole month of October. I guess what I picked this up today, so I guess November thirteenth is my timeline. So before Thanksgiving, okay. uh, if uh, there is no site refresh, keynote, whatever, there's a good chance. There is a good chance, and then uh, this has some this has some girth to it. There's a weight to this that I really appreciate. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's nice and it's nice. Randy's like, this is a cool key. I like the clickiness of it, and I like yep. the battery life. And then Apple goes, new USB C, and then he just throws it out. <laughs> cool. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> Without ever taking my eyes off. Just, Oops. <laughs> man, the Touch Ray ID. Took the Rivian, man. <laughs> touch ID. Oh, true. I didn't think about that. You're, with your setup, that would be nice to have a keyboard with the fingerprint reader. I would love just, that. Um, cause especially uh, since, cause you sold your app. Yeah. <laughs> We've caused all these problems. What have I done? Yeah. <laughs> Guys are insane. No, Mike breaking free from a problem that Apple fixed that they made in the first place. I will not be subjected <laughs> to their artificial tightening of the nooses here to stay in the ecosystem. I don't want it. I upgrade intentionally, or I own the products that we use intentionally. Good morning. I, the iPhone 15 <laughs> serves a purpose. The MacBook obviously serves a purpose. And AirPods Pro, I mean, come on. AirPods Pro, they speak for themselves. But well, that's it. Let me clarify. If you're going through all these hoops for some ideal USB-C magic accessories or whatever... Are you also going to jump through some hoops to get some USB-C AirPods Pro with no. lossless? Or nope, <laughs> no. that's a different story. No, I'm not going to do it. There's nothing wrong with these, and these are these are newer. These are newer than than yours, right? Yeah, I got the Gen Two, the real Gen Two. What? Why does that matter? <laughs> Who cares if they're newer? Than but the point is that yours are fine. still working just fine as well. The point I'm making is that mine is even yeah. more fine than yours. I'm better than you is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> But the the question I have is you're do, you're going through all these hoops so that you can get a USB C keyboard. Yeah, is it just because you want a dedicated keyboard and you just don't want it to be Lightning, but you want it to be from Apple, so it has the fingerprint reader? So you're just no, no, no. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. No, so I I am trying to uh, I am trying to eradicate all Lightning in my life now and forever. It's been amazing in my house to. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> oh my god Ew. um i'm trying to eradicate it but this this charge is strictly mag safe for me so it's not an it's a non-issue call the exterminator i have a lightning infestation <laughs> sorry i gotta tweet that <laughs> um so i'm trying to get rid of all all traces of lightning just because I get that. The last three weeks of nothing but USB C. I I never realized how clean my house can be on the tech side of just like <laughs> I have a USB C charger with a twenty watt brick downstairs. I got two on up here on the second floor. And I got one in my car. I like, hey, let me do you need a charge? And it's just yes. Not what do you need and all that. And it's beautiful. And if I can't have a USB C Apple Fight experience, then I'm gonna have a double A battery experience and use one of these things that are <laughs> just, just as fine. Um, I do want a dedicated. You'll probably get a new keyboard. keyboard before the battery dies. <laughs> yeah, probably. I probably. I like that. I like the whole vintage vintage thing, right? Like we were talking about translucence with the Beats Studio, whatever, a couple weeks, months oh, ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like the idea of having like, oh hey, cool retro. Woo, I'm having fun. Look at me. This is how boring tech has become. I gotta have fun with colors <laughs> or oh, no. beige. That's true. So, uh, that's true. If there is a USB C mouse and keyboard, I'll probably buy it. 
knowing that there will be touch ID on there. If there's no touch ID, then no. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why it wouldn't, but if there's a new iMac, there would be a new keyboard with touch ID to go along with it. That that's what I'm point. hoping for, man. I, I forget who it was. It might have been Marnjel, it might have been Hasael, but someone was saying that USB-C is like the the new headphone jack. Like, it's just able to do everything. It can do audio, data, video, power. Um, and because there's all these mandates, like, is, is USB-C going to be one of those ports that lasts, you know, for decades in terms of the... Because the headphone jack was like over 100 years old, I think, when they killed it. Still using it. It's still around. It's still a thing, but it's been around since the. the that thing is older old. than the, uh, than the tape on the back of your Jimmy credit Carter. card. <laughs> the Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Who's older, a headphone jack or Jimmy Carter? We have to figure this out. Uh, the headphone jack, oh. I think, is still around, and <laughs> Jimmy Carter's not a hundred yet. He's ninety nine. <laughs> What's that have to do with anything? What, not what. Headphone jack is older. Well. I guess for a quick uh, tangent while Drew's looking up this weird factoid, I have not been happy <laughs> with my AirPods. They have been very dumb, uh -oh. th this road trip that I've been on. Um, many times, of course, when you're on a trip, you tend to lose things. And sometimes you leave them behind, other times they're just underneath a pillow or something like that. Um, these things aren't very loud when you try to do the Find My thing, if the Find My app even finds them, even if they are fully charged. And Interesting. it's huh. happened with me. It's happened with my wife. These things are not being what I was hoping that they would be in terms of like basically a air tag that I can put into my ears and listen to music. Um, so that way I don't <laughs> lose it underneath a pillow or something like that. But look at the pillow five times and still can't find it. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the AirPods anymore, especially with the battery life that I've been having with mine. And then also... If I lose them, it's kind of impossible to find them without having to tear everything up. Mm. Which generation do you have again? I think it's the one. beginning of Gen... Yeah, I think it's Gen 1. I don't think it's Gen 2. Okay. It's 1. I don't know. Yeah, so, it is. I see. So I would have figured out. Um, <laughs> well, that's a bummer. Yeah, the, the 2 would have the speaker grill, which I was thinking. I was like, maybe if you had the 2s, you could ping it when you lose it, and then you'd know where to find it or, or I think there's right some there. more find my support the lanyard's not going to help anything but <laughs> maybe the speaker would when do you listen to when, when are you using your airpods these days usually uh usually on the road i'm listening to i'm either in a meeting or i'm listening to some music or a podcast that my wife doesn't want to listen mm. to other times we might just be mm -hmm. chillaxing here in the trailer and maybe I'm listening okay. to some music, or I've put them somewhere, I've transport the tra transport transport them from the truck to the trailer, and they somehow slipped underneath a bedspread or something like that. Hmm. So, it's usually okay. during well, transportation. Sorry. So, that's a I, I am the one who is definitely like I don't even care about USB C because I'm still stuck with Lightning with the 14, and also whatever else I've got in my ecosystem. I guess the AirPods. Um, I've got a whole bunch of cords for lightning, so it's not a problem with me, but it's the headphones Same. that are specifically just causing me a bunch of grief and kind of makes me want to try out different headphones that are easy to find and maybe have the same capabilities as AirPods. Could be AirPods Pro 2, because <laughs> then... I mean, you could probably find the Lightning ones at a discount now that the USB-C version is out if you're really okay with Lightning. But buy Randy's. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to... You could buy Randy's headphones They're right there. Then Randy gets rid of Lightning. Mike gets headphones that he can ping. Man, I could be a marriage counselor. I'm really solving problems. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> Can I get two divorces? Uh, you know, I've, I've been realizing I pretty much only use my AirPods when I'm recording the podcast. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here he goes. You know, He's going to get rid of those two. If... <laughs> Let me finish. Nope. I can still... 
I can still keep it within the Apple um, family. The only problem is my iPhone. If my iPhone was USB C, I could get the USB C earpods and just plug those into the MacBook and then plug them into the iPhone, which right now. Because of the stupid lightning connector, that's not possible. I could either get lightning earpods, but then they won't plug into the Mac, or I could get USB-C earpods, and then they won't plug into the phone. It just works. <laughs> Can't even use a headphone jack. Which, by the way, I looked up. The first 3.5 millimeter jack was used in the 1950s, but it is arguably even nope, older because gone. the 3.5 millimeter jack... And you're back. But... I'm back? Okay. Yeah, but... The uh, people argue that it's even older than that because the 3.5 millimeter jack is a miniature version of the quarter-inch jack, which was in use uh, as far back as 1878. Take that, Jimmy which... Carter! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! So, the quarter-inch jack is pretty old. Um, you said quarter-inch jack, jack and I just started thinking very... about burgers from Jack in the Box, but... That's pretty uh, old. I, I haven't had Jack. Do you guys think USB C will last that long? Yes. It'll last longer no, than the burger. No. Yeah, probably. No. No, no, <laughs> no. No. Tech, tech. What could we possibly think of that this port could not do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's all out. wireless. Just think of, you know, Star Wars, Fifth Element, anything that's futuristic, it all goes wireless. Right. I'm tired but EU. of wires everywhere. Every time I move something in the truck, it unplugs a phone, throws it onto the ground, mm. or throws something else somewhere else. There's too many mm. cords. They tangle everywhere. I have to deal with it with Starlink with cords dang or tangling up or like an extension cord tangling up. You might up. not agree with the Drew, but this is peak performance for a man. <laughs> <laughs> peak. Yeah, that's not I'm not supporting that, but uh <laughs> Yeah. Probably <laughs> wireless. Yeah. yeah, wireless I think is the final port. The final port is no port. But we were saying that years ago, and then it didn't happen. Everyone but because like, we're no, ahead. Of, don't go type we're C. ahead of the times. Just <laughs> people don't know it's sixty hertz from one hundred and twenty hertz. We. We're so you're telling me my MacBook is going to charge inductively? It's going to do that thing where I guarantee. You know what? Yeah, we're just it will not. In the air. It's, 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 it's going to do it when you walk into the room. It's just, it's always going to maintain a charge. It's going to... You know, I walked into a houses. cave lately, or recently I walked into a cave, and it said there might be some radioactive airborne molecules in the area. I think we just do that with every house. We just Ew. irradiate every <laughs> single house. So no. it just charges, charges everything. everything wireless. It's going to be as seamless of an experience as when you walk somewhere and you just get on Wi-Fi. Or you get cellular. It's going to be like that. It's going to be so passive, maintaining power sources the way. Power or we put solar us. on the computer so that way the sun powers it inside your home. I don't think you guys believe what you're saying. <laughs> I don't believe that, but I do believe <laughs> some wireless feature where power is flown throughout materials without shocking people or becoming a hindrance and also not being super expensive. Okay, so that's like, maybe this will help me understand your viewpoint. At, at what you're saying USB-C won't last as long as a headphone jack, but you're, that means that that wireless uh, power technology has to be ready by what year? Probably in 200 years. Probably when I'm six feet under. I don't know. <laughs> that's about like 200 years well, so many last longer than Jimmy like, I don't need to be right I'll be dead by then I don't need to be right I'll, you, I'll either die hero or live long enough to be wrong <laughs> no I so maybe uh, if I'm being practical here I don't know 50 years <laughs> will, I be, will, I, will I be alive in 50 years if I'm being practical here I don't know <laughs> 50 years I might be dead in 50 years that's I need wow to... that's a morbid thought we could all be dead tomorrow you never know okay. I might be dead right now you just don't know <laughs> by, the, by the time you're listening to this this is the Halloween special by the way so I want to join Team Pixel okay 
No. Like, for real, for real? <laughs> no. How are you going to deal with the whole uh, savings and credit card stuff? You're just going to keep an iPhone hiding in the drawer for that? Yes. That's my solution. <laughs> it works. Terrible solution. Because I cannot access the Apple Card or the savings account on anything other than an iPhone. Okay. And it also has to be a newer iPhone. You can't do it on, like, an old iPhone 6. I tried because the trade-in values were so good for the iPhone 11, and I was tempted, and I'm excited, and I was impressed by the Pixel 8, and... What have you become? Now I feel dirty. <laughs> hmm. I would say I don't you know. should go for it, just because I was a fan of my Pixel 2 XL, and I had a fun time in that ecosystem with that and the original... No, you didn't. Uh, Pixel Buds. I did. I had a fantastic time. But, uh, I don't know. They have a, the, was it the G3, the T3, the Tensor G3, whatever it is? Yeah, chip. we're on G3. Yeah. I can't wait for G6. It they seems like this is a very a, specific song. <laughs> it seems like it's a decent year for uh, Google's Tensor chip compared to last year's. So it might not be a bad idea to join in now and see if the, uh, the Pixel Garden is that much more appealing to you? <laughs> do you guys believe the seven years of support promise? Or do you no. think they'll quit on No. That? Probably not. Oh, wow. I think it'll Neither get to like... Okay. I think it'll get to like... It might be quote-unquote seven in my opinion. I think they'll like... It'll get close to like six years or like it'll be seven years and then a month or two later they'll be like, I... Nope. <laughs> Nothing nope. <laughs> makes it to seven years. Not a single Google product. Except Mail. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like... It's going to say Gmail's been around for iPad a while. iPad Air 2. I, I, I had Gmail two. since I was on the beta. Back in 2005, 2006. Whoa. I'm old. Jeez. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> I didn't know there was a beta for Gmail. Oh, yeah, there was a beta. Oh, yeah. Invite only. <laughs> well, Invite I just... Only. I know Randy's like, what have you become? Here's my thought process. I am so already ingrained in the Google ecosystem. And I am a fan for the same reason I don't want CarPlay on the Tesla. I'm a fan of like first party design software hardware. They're all optimized for each other. It's all run by one brand. That's usually how you have the simplest setup, the simplest um, integration with software and hardware and I like the idea. I use YouTube Music. I'm a, I make YouTube videos for. I use Google AdSense. So people are like, oh my privacy. I'm like, they literally have all my information. They're paying me, so they have to for tax reasons. So I'm like, they. I listen to their music. I use YouTube Premium. I make YouTube videos, and I use Gmail, of course. I'm doing all this stuff. So the idea of the hardware and the silicon and the operating system also being. Like, I just have one Gmail that I sign into, and boom. It's it's all starting to make a little sense to me. Would so, you go for the 8 or the 8 Pro? Or something probably, older? Okay, I'll stop lying. I ordered an 8, and it should yeah. get here on Sunday. And, this, <laughs> and that's the one I'm most interested in because okay. it's more affordable and smaller. And the regular non-pro got 120 hertz which was this whole you know frustration big big movement against the iphone 15 um mm -hmm. but i thought you know it's been a minute since trying an android phone and th there's so many on paper at least advantages that i'm seeing like the faster data transfer speeds are on the lower model and the cameras seem really impressive this year so I'm just like, this is, to me, this is like peak Android. So if there, if there's a phone that can get it right, this is the one. That's mm -hmm. that's the one that uh, can be the, the Apple version of Android. Um, but I'll probably not keep it, even if I like it, simply because you should never buy a new Pixel phone unless there's like a crazy good trade-in deal because they lose their value so fast. So if I, this is like my test run. I ordered it through Amazon, so I have 30 days to test it out mm -hmm. this kind of 
holds me over and tell, oh, thank you. I saw Randy nod for the first time in like an hour. <laughs> but <laughs> I nodded for the so, Amazon thing. You, <laughs> he's been so hateful this whole time. I'm like, what, what, where am I wrong? Are you just mad? Cause I'm going to be a green bubble again. Yeah. Oh my God. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about it either. <laughs> Never mind. No, no, no. Stay with the iPhone or only text us. With well, the you're, iPhone. Randy, you're like a Facebook guy, right? No, whoa, 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 whoa. I use Facebook Messenger for family members who are don't understand that iPhone will take your phone number and you don't have to change your plan. People think, if I get an iPhone, <laughs> I have to change my plan. No, you don't. Just put your SIM in it. Mm. Just put your SIM in it. Okay. Dad? <laughs> so, Drew's well, about there to was, put his SIM in There crazy. was people coming at me saying, Okay, Drew, if you're trying to be more budget-focused or you're trying to look at what's most cost-effective, then you have to consider Android. You can't just look at Apple. So that I'm, I'm trying to be consistent. No, that's a, you're lying again. That's not why you're doing it. <laughs> why oh, am I no? Because you're bored. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, and it's fun to... But is it's, that it's, wrong? It's fun to, you know, sneak out of the house every now and then. But at the end of the day, you know where your food is cooked. You know where you know where the warm bed is at. You know where the nice warm shower and the clean toilet and all that. Like you know you know where your clothes Dark, are at toilets. the end of it. So it's still fun Correct to sneak me if out. I'm wrong, but someone someone here I think has two phones for multiple purposes, right? No. Like <laughs> Where's the thirteen Pro Max, Randy? <laughs> where's the where's the poop? Uh <laughs> I I be honest with you at this exact he's, he's moment I don't around. know. I don't know. It's missing. Uh, is it in I, the room? Right no, the problem it's is I should right know now. where it is, but I've been kind of <laughs> this this setup is a lie. What's happening out of frame is um, <laughs> if only there was some app that told us where I could find my stuff. Oh yeah, I know. I I I took off all of that. Doesn't work. The phone, the, they have been removed from my Apple ID. Did you turn off the passcode like I did? No. Should nice. I? It's great. I just decided, you know what? If someone mugs me, they deserve to have all my personal information. <laughs> there goes <laughs> all the YouTube enough. channels. <laughs> so, Drew, let me tell you why I shake my yeah. head in, in, in disgust, disdained. Um, I shake my and head. Words. I shake my head because you're going to get your Pixel 8 before I get mine. Mine comes on Sunday. No, I'm what? joking. I'm, jo I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> uh, uh, plot twist. Wait, you guys no. are getting really Pixels? Got me <laughs> I'm lying. No, I I scoff Ooh. at this because I, I have I have whoo, switched the back up here. Um, <laughs> it's artificial scoffing, really. I, I shake my head because... I I know how this is going to play out. Uh, it's just as ridiculous as we're going environmentally green, so no more cables in the box and no more leather, but we're going to spend money. and it, Anyway, <laughs> so the idea of Pixel 8 being like the phone that's going to start the seven-year trend for one, baloney. Two, um... Are you willing to bet on it? You know, mm. if we're still around eight, seven years from now. <laughs> if we're still oh my God. I like how you have to preface that. If we're alive. By seven By years, nine. I mean, oh my God, I'll be 40. Ugh. Oh, I don't, I don't think like I can talk either. to you at that point. I'm going to be your grandfather. I'm going to be someone's, I am somebody's <laughs> dad. <laughs> I'm somebody's. Yeah, I'm somebody's. Yeah. I'm gonna have a full fledged kid. Okay, um, but it's a nice round year. Twenty thirty. Remember, that's the year when Robo Taxis come out and Apple Vision Pro turns. I'm such a cynic about tech. The... That's that's what it is. It's not you getting the eight. I'm be honest with you. It's not that. I have become so cynical about tech as a whole that um, I just I Me too. I see it. I see something else disrupting the whole thing within seven years. And he I'm sends not... a great disturbance. He could he could destroy us, or if he could be turned. <laughs> it always goes back to Star Wars. Um, 
It always has to. And always Palpatine, too. Um, <laughs> it's the best character. <laughs> he is Star Wars. Uh, His granddaughter saves the universe. So, yeah. Somehow. He just returned. Um, look, phone, I mean, this, is on, this is not on no phone is boring, it's flat, and, and has no aesthetic anymore. That's... A phone is like a computer in the sense that like you, they all have their shapes. What's a computer? All, Mike, if you, I tell you, I'm. Mm, mm, okay. <laughs> it just zooms away on his chair. I wish I could do that. I can just do this. I just look crazy. Yeah, we are crazy. <laughs> it just it gets butted up against the furniture. Man, just uh, I'll be crocked. They won't see. They won't know what just happened. Oh, sorry. Uh, Continue, Randy. There's gonna be. A, I think there'll be some type of dis- disruptor in the next within this decade. Uh, I don't know if it's I Vision Pro. Came. Oh, that. Never mind. No, I don't think it's that. But I think something's gonna. Here, here's here. Here's here's where here's where I'm like having this. Anakin Vader conflict right now, and you guys are my Ahsoka. You have no idea what I'm talking about, but uh, I do. <laughs> oh, okay. I watched Star Trek at one point. <laughs> we have gotten so much stuff for free at the cost of like uh, at the cost of just maybe it's early adoption. Maybe it's because we're. We're uh, the guinea pigs, or maybe because we're the product and then ads are involved or something. There's a lot of things that have to do with tech within social media, within platforms, within uh, services, within uh, that's just free. But it's not free. It does cost money. And however it's subsidized or however they offset the cost, that's that that's on the company to decide how they want to do that. But we see a lot of come. How many like shared drive uh, companies I've seen come and go from copy uh there was one that was like synced there there's all these different versions that try to compete with google uh drive and dropbox Mm -hmm. and they were and they they were all like free this free 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 and then eventually they start uh shutting down uh because it's not sustainable and when something is free (laughs) it's not sustainable how do you guys make money with this (laughs) we don't don't. oh (laughs) great and not to change the subject here i i the bigger per per uh Subject, we'll come back to it, but like blocking ads on YouTube is is also a, a result of a disruptor that uh, people have a certain expectation that maybe prod, uh, content consumption is free when at no other point in our modern day history was that the case. You had to pay for cable and still watch ads, you know, you are like if you're a subs- blue premium, whatever on Twitter, you still get ads even though you're subscribed to it. Uh, Ads, like subscribing to something and paying for something doesn't necessarily um, grant you uh, automatic entitlement of like not, not either getting ads or like the, the, what I'm getting at is that we're just used to things just being given to us. And sometimes at a premium, we get things like, oh, I don't have to pay for this and blah, 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 blah. And Google is the best example of that from YouTube to mail to share drive uh you know, uh, uh, hosting, f- photo host, like that costs money. And at some point it can't be sustainable. So they have to find different ways to monetize or to make it profitable. And if all these restrictions keep coming into play about, well, privacy protections on here, that, and the other, and governments get involved or governments say, no, you have to use USB-C. Eventually I just see something happening where companies just can't run the world how they want to. And, and things are getting re- more regulated or more refined and more polished. It could be for the betterment or detriment to the company. I don't really know, but no- nothing s- s- Apple will not be number one forever. Statistically, not possible. There was, before Apple, it was what? Microsoft? Before Microsoft, it was what? Exxon Mobil was the most profitable company? Somebody can't be at the top forever, and right now it's tech. But it won't always be tech. Tech is now in literally everything. You're expected to have some type of tech literacy, and no matter what you do in your life, whether you're a student, whether you have work a nine to five, you have to have some type of competency in tech. And... Once that becomes passive, 
something else, something exciting, something new will come and disrupt everything. Again, the way we disrupted the industrial revolution that became the uh, the tech the, the IT revolution. Something else will come along and refine it again. So all of that to come back to the initial thing right here. It's a very Neil deGrasse. Back Tyson to 1832. Answer. No, no. So <laughs> now with that all now said, the seven years like think let's go rewind the clock seven years ago. Okay, 2016. What a different yeah. world that was. 26. Trump was running for president. The the the, the celebrity <laughs> yeah. apprentice guy. Can you imagine? Was running wow. for president, right? Can you imagine? Um, we we're on the iPhone six s seven. Well, different times of the year, but yeah. Yeah. So six s was the latest and greatest thing, and then maybe iPhones. No, iPhone seven came out in. Yeah, 2016. So, but for the majority of the year, it was, it was success, right? And yeah, it was a very different, just in, in tech, it was a very different headspace. We, we had, we were barely introduced to USB-C and this was the future, but it's not. We got MacBook Pros on our desk that say otherwise, you know? Uh, we were introduced to Lightning just a few years prior and that was supposed to be the future, but it's not because that BZ has gone. <laughs> there is no lightning anymore. <laughs> lot, a lot changes in seven years and uh, there's no way. And that's Apple who has lateral control over from top to bottom production line. Google will not be the same Google in seven years. And just his, his, the, the stats are on, on the side that they'll just kill something off. They might have Stadia went away. The Pixel upgrade program or whatever went away. Like everything's just, oh, yeah, they yeah. just go away. The list of Google killed things is quite long. So, mm -hmm. uh, I I shake my head, not at you getting a Pixel Eight, Drew. I shake my head that uh, that tech has it has gotten to this point where we have to kind of sneak out of our house for a little bit just to go see what else is out there. I, I mean, you're doing your job obviously review the freaking phone if you could have got one for free then more power to you man do do what you got to do but um it's going to be just as clunky you got a facebook messenger come on like the fact that we have to have an alternative to it is kind of frustrating i mean i i have to use that anyway it's on my i know it's on my home screen i know it's just but... it's not clean and and maybe i'm just being too much of a purist because my gripes also lie with apple for the exact same rant i just went on but um, I'm just too, I'm too far gone. I would like gone. <laughs> Apple to feel threatened, though. That's that's what I enjoy about the concept of, hey, iPad OS is disappointing me. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna, you know, not upgrade. I'm putting my money where my, sorry, I'm gonna vote with my wallet. And uh, now I'm doing it with the Apple Watch. Like Watch OS 10 really annoyed me, really frustrated me. And um, I got to a point where I was just feeling like, you know what? I don't think I really need this. It was more of a want and uh, in an effort to try to combat the smartphone addiction. I just I'd like to feel more disconnected. So now I have that again. And in the same way, when Apple is getting more, I think the sign of like a peaking, maturing market is when they do things like they did with the Series 9 or the iPad Pro. To me, this is like the red flag of death. When when companies start uh, software locking features that are so clearly easy, they could easily add to an older generation, but they need to come up with some reason for you to get the new thing, so they they software lock it, which Google's doing too, for the record. Yeah, um, they all do it. Still, it, everybody's doing it, but um, at that point, to me, it's a sign of like, okay, there's not going to be much more to talk about, and the only way to review the new thing is just going to be to buy it, even if you could have done it on the old one. So yeah. I don't want to reward that kind of behavior, essentially, which is partly why I'm kind of more interested in the 8 than the 8 Pro, but... Um, oh, because of the software locking? I do think... Yeah, there's software locking that the 8... There's things they that are. the 8 Pro can yes. do that the 8 can't. Yes. And it's pretty it's pretty likely that the, the 8 is perfectly capable of doing them. So I want to see, like, what what's the, the bare minimum? Like, what's the lower-end phone capable of doing? Kind of to 
compare and contrast with the iPhone 15. I had the entry level. I got the cheapest one, yeah. and now I'm going to do that with the 8 um, just to see, okay, what's the bend experience like? Is it that much different? Is it that is it worth paying the premium for unlocking software features? That whole offload the video to some server so that they can reprocess it. Thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> that going to be interesting to see. I'm curious how that just does. It's like <laughs> the second I saw that, I was like, why is that only on one phone? That should be on like every phone. I have a gripe I want to share with you really quickly about software exclusives or maybe uh, generational exclusives really quickly with the 15. It, uh, something that goes in favor of the 15 and one thing that goes against it. And either way, I just I do one of these. <sighs> why with the exact same chip as the 14 Pro? 14 Pro Max. Why do mm -hmm. I, on the cheapest basis model 15, get that auto <laughs> portrait mode, but the 14 doesn't? Why can I shoot or film in ProRes or RAW? What? It's the exact same chip. Never mind mm -hmm. the sensor. It's the chip that's doing all the stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, because this one's now going to be the A17 Pro. So next year we cut for our, <laughs> our butt, and but that's not the Pro model. Like baloney, I <laughs> I am so with you on frustrations of software locking things on the Apple Watch, iPhone, uh, Google Pixel, iPad. I'm sure Samsung has something. Like the idea that like that's how they try to upsell something infuriates me. I think we to a certain degree even Teslas have a certain like, well, we're just gonna shut off ultra sensor, you know, the radar doesn't work anymore for anybody. There, now you all suck. Like, it frustrates me. Uh -huh. So, I, I hate that. I actually, like, with a passion, yeah. hate that. Which is why I, I endorse your whole go cheaper, buy use, or sell the darn thing. And we are spoiled enough that for the last over a year, I've been able to do a job here on a phone, a base phone, and <laughs> it's fine because, you know, at least for mm -hmm. podcasts, the secret's right here for our video people. It's the mic, right? <laughs> um, but, like, th the you idea of... plug it straight into his iPhone. You, I could! I won't because I, I need the battery to go last me three hours, but, but the point <laughs> is, like, we've gotten so good that you've done exclusive filming on an SE on a on a iPhone 10 you you filmed <laughs> you said that with such disgust cuz it's the, gross it's how it. cool and great it is that like it's gross F that you could do that and get locked into some arbitrary oh sorry the pencil hover feature on your iPad won't work because uh kiss our butt that's why or you have to go like this <laughs> and double tap your finger cuz it's so okay. proprietary no it's it's all stupid. It's just it's just stupid. That's my <laughs> Yeah. That's fair. How about you, Mike? Has anything pixel related convinced you that you'd go back to the dark side having once uh frolicked in that arena? I'm interested in what your experience is with the Pixel 8 today, because it's been a very long time since I've been in the Pixel ecosystem. So it would be neat yeah. to at least, or it would be helpful for me to hear what's going on. During the time that Randy was doing his giant rant, I was configuring a Pixel 8, and I also wanted to ask you probably what specs did you get in uh, that. But then also it made me I think actually about... actually didn't look when I ordered it. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but no, it made me no. also interested when... Uh, um, Obsidian is the only answer for the 8. Um... But it also made me think about the Nothing Phone as well, or the Nothing 2 Phone, or Nothing Phone 2. Phone 2? Yeah. Um, and I thought the Nothing Phone <laughs> was thinking cool. about nothing. Exactly. So now you just got me on a spiral thinking like, hmm, if RCS is that decent to where like it's just <gasps> as equivalent as iMessage and... I don't need it to connect to my computer. It would be nice. I mean, I access messages on here and that. There's workarounds, be nice to, have that as well. to be clear. 
and there is. But um, and I wouldn't probably leave the computer behind because I like my MacBook Air a lot. So there is room for, or I guess wiggle room for the potential of me looking into another phone. But that all depends on your experience with the Pixel Eight, and also how much more no pressure, Randy Drew, get with. <laughs> And how annoyed me and Randy get with the green bubbles. But uh, <laughs> otherwise, I don't know. I think it's great that you're branching out. I think I don't have a choice, to be honest. If I'm just looking at the tech community as a whole, uh, all the news, all the announcements from all companies are getting progressively more dry where every year it's like ah, i don't know i guess we'll software lock something else and call it a feature it's like okay well if this is the phone channel or this is the you know we're, we're reviewing the personal computer business this is uh phones are a very big disruption they're what everybody's thinking about everybody's asking about which phone do i get and uh Funnily, funny enough, the, the guy who bought my Apple Watch was a friend of mine. He was a Pixel 6 Pro user and last week switched to an iPhone. Oh, <laughs> and then was like, my old watch doesn't work with the iPhone anymore, so I'm looking for an Apple Watch mm -hmm. to buy. And I was just like, you want this one? <laughs> he was like, okay. So we just spur of the moment, didn't expect to sell it in that exact second but it was it was like oh he needs it and he's you know he's a good friend of mine so i just i wanted him to have one that would that would work and i knew it was compatible and everything and also i wanted him to have this deal because most people don't know about the sapphire glass thing and i was like yeah you really you should you should get that and he was like oh i didn't even know there was a difference and i was like yeah i know that's the little <laughs> apples apple sheep tip there get the steel not for the steel though you're for welcome glass. you're welcome <laughs> um yeah i was so in the moment i didn't even have all the like charging accessories ready so i still have to like get all that ready now to give to him the next time i see him but uh yeah. it feels it feels freeing as of now but i feel uh like i want to be more open to what's what's on the other side it's not that i'm abandoning apple or anything it's just that if all i do is talk about apple we're not going to have much to talk about <laughs> that's essentially the camp i'm in oh no oh point. drew and, uh, no you you planted the seed because <laughs> i'm not as there's a oh no okay i have a question for you i'm Both spartacus you i'm spartacus. <laughs> i am spartacus why i just watched that nice why am i in the apple ecosystem what what's what do you think is like anchoring me down right now you, you knowing me specifically and how i minimalism okay what Security future what what, what what yes <laughs> those are aesthetics but what 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 utility am i utilizing that i'm benefiting from being in the ecosystem first party supported software and hardware yes and probably silicon? of all of them but there's something more specific oh rubbing your fingers together I'm in the money business <laughs> <laughs> uh, rubbing your fingers together i'm neither <laughs> I'm in the empire business. I am in the <laughs> high yield savings account business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And not to go, you know, just I'll just say this very broadly, shallow level conversation here. There's a there's a very good chance in the near future, I'm not going to have any funds in that account to high yield anything for me. And uh, mm -hmm. when that's gone. My incentive isn't really there. Uh, hmm. Everything that I utilize, everything that I need is transferable. I talk to more people on Discord than I do Facebook Messenger. Uh, and Whoa. 
I actually, I would say if, if, if I had to like pick a other platform, it'd probably be like Instagram DMs or whatever. But even then, it's it's just sending reels back and forth. So it's very, that could be whatever. When it comes to like actually like communicating, if it's not a group chat that I or group text that I have pinned, you know, with my EV brethren, it's really done on Discord. And uh, like that's not a deal breaker for by by any means. I don't use stickers or whatever like that. What keeps me locked in is the high yield savings first, like pri- primarily. <sighs> And then when that's gone, when that time comes and I and I cash out some money to do other things mm-hmm. with it, what's there to cover? Bouncing castle. Bouncing castle. What's there to cover? <laughs> but I'm shocked that you drew, like if you're gonna do the pixel thing, is there a scenario where I will do the Dex thing and go play with Samsung? Because I want something that is my plug and pay for everything. I want one mm. brain to power it all. That's that's my mm. ultimate vision. Mm. And when USB C right. fixes this thing here, I I <laughs> seek for that. What if the other to me, in my opinion, the other best ecosystem has been Samsung. It's been the most refined and polished up over the decade. They've they've had more time to fix things. No, it's not perfect, but no ecosystem's perfect. We have gripes about Apple. Pixel has had its issues, and or Google. I we probably say. complain about Apple more than any other company on because the it's show. Because it's, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Because we actually have to use this stuff. It's like it's the default. It's the template. So people get angry about Apple doing something because then it affects them. When Android does something, it's like, oh well, I I'm just not going to use that one. Right. You That's have you, you can shop around. But I do think it's worth it's worth discussing especially with seeing how the eu is most likely getting their way they got it with USB C, and now they're going to get it with side loading and now the the next big move is they they don't want apple to have exclusive like ecosystem advantages where i don't even know what that refers to but things like does the apple watch have to work with android is iMessage opening up you know, the, with that kind of thing it's like we gotta as technology's all starting to blur together we have to take advantage of the comparison, the differences while they're there, because they might not be there much longer. Yeah. <laughs> might reach a point. You know, I've seen these pictures of people holding the, you know, the black 15 Pro with the black 8 Pro, and I'm like, it's really turning into just a different logo at this point. Like, I think that's why I like the Pixel so much, though, is because this year they feel the most iPhone-like. They got the frosted glass. They've got the symmetrical bezel. They've got a G3 chip. They've got the longer software support, which I do think directly affects the resale value. Maybe people don't want to buy a Pixel that's a year or two old if they know that it's only going to get a year or two more of software updates. Whereas if it's going to get five or four years more, that might improve the resale value. So they're just... I was very critical. You guys, I was very hateful and very, you know, that's why I'm not in Team Pixel anymore, obviously, was because I was, like, criticizing Google when, in my opinion, they made a lot of bad mistakes in the past. But I feel like they're, for once in a a long while, they're actually learning. Mm. They're, like, improving, and they're taking advice and implementing it. And now I'm like, okay, it would be in my opinion, hypocritical, even if maybe my audience would like it, if I could just continue to dogpile on this brand and continue to rant on it, even though there's not as many things to rant about. Like, they're actually listening. Before, you know, the videos wrote themselves. There was plenty of things to rant about because Google just would do their thing. And then I'd be like, dumb, dumb, dumb. Now I'm like, smart. Okay, cool. That's nice. I like that. Oh, dang. Do I want one? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> now I'm at the point where I'm like, I wish Apple did that. Specifically, mm. the camera bump design. That's one of those things that I keep saying, copy from the Pixel, copy that from the Pixel. Uh, so I'm, I got to give credit where credit is due. I mean, it's it's like a fundamental difference of belief. If you just believe, okay, my job is to defend Apple no matter what and to hate Google no matter what, then that's a different to me, that means it's it's a long way of saying you're putting the channel's uh, success over your own opinion. It's like it doesn't matter what you believe. All that matters is that the channel gets what it was asked for. Yes. A lot of people came to the channel for the Pixel rants. 
So let me just continue. You're god dang right. So that, <laughs> yeah. so that the people who came get what they came for. But in my opinion, that's not honest. God, you're gonna get a that pixel would... fold. I already see it. That's just that's no, hey, it's no. different. Gotta try it out. <laughs> <laughs> remember the finance section remember the budget focus okay right. foldables aren't gonna mesh well with that yet maybe yeah. they get cheaper later but i don't okay. know yeah I, you're right for the record i still want apple to make a foldable even though i don't want one i i still think when we're in the stage of all this tech and all these phones blurring together yeah they're all becoming one and they're all kind of losing their exclusives over time I'm like, okay, everybody, get as weird as you can now. Let's let, let's get let's get nuts, you know. Let's see Wanna what you can nuts. come up with. Let's get nuts. I want to see an Apple foldable. I actually would be more interested in a ultra thick iPhone. Just make a brick, stuff it with a huge battery, give it a Best super phone. huge camera sensor with way more lenses and way better zoom make it cost two thousand dollars you know people would pay for it just like the apple watch ultra was like the doubling of the battery and mm. it was way more expensive and now mm -hmm. i see them all over the place yeah everybody's got ultras now i'm just like really that was enough everybody was sold on i i'm fairly confident with how the sales at like the 14 pro max was the best-selling iphone of 2023 that convinces me that Apple feels confident they could make an Ultra or at least raise the price on the Pro Max and get a ton of sales for it. Like, I think they can just keep pushing this. If I'm not getting my mini phone, then give me a, a brick, you know? that's <laughs> I'm not going to get my dream so mini. I so ugly, gross, just, you know, copying out. It feels like selling out a little bit. Not you. No, the, the, the way they're like, <laughs> not the consumer, the company. I, I would like to sell out. Can I do that? No, but I'm, that's not what I'm saying. It's it's gross that the selling out of like, it's almost like it's so obvious. It's right there. N no one no one wants to take a risk anymore. It's, mm. it's like it's like. I think Apple Vision Pro is a huge risk, personally. But no, they're not betting the farm on it though. It's it's gonna be mm. it's gonna be the. It's it really is its own new product category. It's the Mac Pro equivalent with with talking about like with money and stuff like that. Like it, they know the same people who are buying regular base model iPhones aren't buying Vision Pro. That's not that's that's not their demographic. It's it's the enthusiasts. It's the people who are it's us. It's the people who are bored. It's the people who like we need something new to mix it up. Vision Pro Gen two, Gen three, or Series set whatever they want to call it has a real <laughs> high chance of like that's the disruptor maybe I'm I'm thinking about. I don't feel like it's a disruptor today because it's very rudimentary web browsing. Like it's 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 web browsing with extra steps. I'm not I'm good. You can keep your thirty five hundred dollars. I'm not I'm not interested in that. Um and I'm not interested in taking spatial video so I can just be in there and looking at video. I I my dad brain is like in full effect, man. Like I think about how I try to take less photos of my kid so I can be in the moment with him because I blink and he, I don't know if you guys even know this. Like, I don't, I don't care that we're recording. I'm just going to tell you my kid's walking. Woo! And you He's, didn't message me. Dude. Yeah, baby. It just, it, this is what we went. No, like this just happened. He is. <laughs> I sent a video uh, in the group chat. He is just that's awesome walking, and I'm like, <laughs> and I start choking up because I'm like, I used to hold you and you and I had to burp you because you couldn't even burp yourself, and now he's just walking, and that does something uh -huh. to me. I'm like, whoa, I don't want to miss these moments, and I just put my I'm, don't you want to capture it in 3D so you can relive that moment. On a 3, no, if I want to relive the moment, I'll just day. I'll I'll have another sage. I'll have another. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> that's that's. I think you'd be saving money on getting the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah, Vision Pro, my. Yeah, you're YouTube. right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, it's but, up there. It's close. <laughs> it, it's it's just a matter of like, it's it's like I, when they say they grow up quick. Oh my God! Holy crap! I totally get it now. That like he's walking. <laughs> what? He wasn't. He's not even a year. My life is mm -hmm. completely different, and that's impressive, actually. It's for right. Them to be walking that I, that, quick. I'm like, I have a prodigy. <laughs> he's, he's a, a he's a savant. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, I, I care more about living in the moment, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. And the idea of yes. like having something so isolating like all this extra tech that I don't use, diminishing returns. And, and I'm saying Gen 1 Vision Pro, I know that's not for me. Not because of the cost, but because of the the immersion of it. I get to coexist in this world that I will see with my own eyes, but I don't want to be there. I want to be on the other side of the camera with my kid. The memories I want to have are the ones that I'm next to him, not filming him. I want to be in the memories. I don't want to experience the memories. I want to be a part of the memories. And uh, mm. that maybe maybe Gen 2, Gen 3 Vision Pro will or Vision, whatever they end up calling with different series of it, will will address some of that stuff to make it more immersive but i don't think that at the end of the day vision pro alone is going to be the big risk that apple's taking they're not betting the farm on it iphone will sell because ios is the is peak os uh apple is okay taking a risk with them if they're going to dump millions into project titan i wonder what that is yes vision pro is going to be <laughs> fine we'll be okay with vision pro so yeah it's kind of still tech is kind of stale we got to ex- maybe poke around and see what's out there and my form of excitement is grabbing a, a mechanical keyboard that's that's this is how <laughs> sexy tech is right now you guys my excitement was uh this week i finally realized you know what um there's a screen protector from the last person who had this phone and i realized i really don't like screen protectors and it kind of cuts into your thumb a little bit when you're swiping up and stuff Mm -hmm. so i finally just peeled it off and i feel like i have a brand new phone (laughs) i was like wow i didn't realize this could feel this nice and there were little particulates in the screen protector that i was just kind of dealing with and now they're gone and it completely it made me realize how much the i'm bored with my tech thing affects us Mm. because obviously that story is super small and super insignificant oh my god drew took a screen protector off what's the big deal but it did make a noticeable difference on the way the phone felt and the way mm. the screen looked and how it, it interacted. And I feel like so many people have that with their tech, but are convinced that the solution is I need to buy a new phone. I need to get the latest this, or there's a newer version. doesn't matter how incremental the upgrade is. I need to, I need to upgrade so that I have a new thing mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I'm bored with the old thing. And I think that's the narrative I'm trying my best to push against. Mm. <laughs> it's just like, it's not, mm-hmm. I mean, it's okay to be bored with your tech and try to mix things up a bit. I just don't think it needs to be, you know, a big thousand dollar <laughs> mix things up. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, I, I applaud Mike for holding on to his 14 pro. I'm glad that you're getting by with that. I'm glad that it works and you're not like, Oh, I need to get blah, blah, blah. It's like, that's where your head should be at. That's where just more don't look at my shopping at. cart. There's not too many 15 pros in there yet. <laughs> you sound like Frankie now. Sheesh. But who? I'll take. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't <I'll> know. Take... <laughs> oh no! I love your innocence, Mike. <laughs> is this a guy also replacing me on this podcast? <laughs> Actually, you could yes. say he is. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that one week. That might be a fun one. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> no, 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 you'll be around, but someone I else think... is going to get replaced. <laughs> I'm so confused, but okay. I know. I love Anyways. it. I love it. Anyways. <laughs> I do like that you guys I... are branching out a bit more as well. Um, though, I too am bored with my tech. I don't feel like I need to get new technology to replace it right now. I think the only thing that's on my horizons right now is looking at the Quest 3, just because it looks cool. Otherwise, I've been watching a lot of videos of that one, actually. Yeah, it seems like a fun device, and the Quest 2 was cool. I got to try it out and got to try out the PSVR 2. I think the Quest 3 kind of just falls in line with, all right, the PSVR kind of failed because there wasn't that many games, and it made me motion sick. Let's see Mm. if the Quest 3 Mm -hmm. does any better, especially as kind of the ringleader in the lineup of VRs that this would probably be a little bit more smoother. And then it'd be a nice comparison to if, or probably when one of you two get the Mm. uh, Vision Pro. And so, I don't know. Otherwise, that's like the only thing. I don't think, like I said before, 
it'd be interesting to check out a Pixel or a Nothing 2 phone or anything like that. Or nothing Phone mm-hmm. 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't need to upgrade anything. I'm perfectly fine with the tech that I've got, even though the 14 Pro heats up sometimes and also is running out of storage. <laughs> And uh, I'm afraid I'm there's getting... no solution to that, even if you bought a new phone. <laughs> no, <laughs> probably or the hotter. camera initiation isn't working well on the screen, whether you swipe or mm. press the camera button. I need an action button, but well, I want an action button, I don't need it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, otherwise, well, let, on the subject of the VR potential or the mixed reality headsets or whatever, uh, do you guys think? that Apple entering the the headset space is going to hurt or help Meta? Ooh. It's going to put a lot of videos out there (laughs) comparing it to the Quest 3. (laughs) So I I feel like it's, in my opinion, I feel like it validates them. It almost like forces people to cross shop now because now there's probably a bunch of people who were not interested in VR stuff that are now interested because Apple's getting into it, but they're like, okay, that's that's cool, but I don't have the money. And then Meta steps in and says, look at our option, which does some of the same stuff for a fraction of the price. And it, my opinion is it helps them actually more than it hurts them. But I was curious if you disagreed. Nope. What about you, Randy? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I, I feel like... Maybe it hurts. Well, it depends what it's side by side. Zuckerberg goes on the Freeman podcast, and I'm trying to be objective here. Put put gripes of how Meta handles their social issues and stuff to the side, and privacy and user data and stuff like that. Doing a product to product thing, Zuckerberg says they're two different product lines. Like they they address different things, and he's right. Um, he was very diplomatic about that, and. I don't think it hurts or helps. I think it just, mm. it's okay. it's the Samsung to Apple. It's the Google to Apple. It's just one more option. And I do think it validates. It will validate. But I don't think Apple, here's what, here's what I disagree with. I don't think Apple going into the space now makes the space relevant. I don't feel that. No really? more. Okay. No more than I feel. Because the price or? No, because of the, it's too early of a, it's too early tech, too early OS, it's too early, it's, it's not, it's not like Apple Watch in the sense that that was very customizable, personalized, and cheap, and you could put it on, but even then, it took a few generations to be like, oh, this is what we're about. We're going after the Fitbits. We're not just going after Rolex or whatever, right? So it took them a while to get to that point. They found they found their their pacing and they stuck with it. And as much as we talk about cameras on smartphones, we talk about health features on watches. That's just the lane they exist in. And that has nothing to do with the Google Pixel watch, whatever, or the Samsung watch. They all, they all just are accessories to the ecosystems that are already at play. But... It doesn't validate Meta like it's going to drive sales because the people who want that UI, I have a Quest whatever and I don't use it. I've tried PSVR. I don't use it. That's everyone I've talked to who has a Quest is like, I don't use it. (laughs) I don't use it. It, You know what I use? I use the thing that's the most convenient. Nothing is more convenient than just... And maybe it's just years now, de- over a decade of muscle memory. I just go into my pocket, pull out my phone. I do the the, the 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 activity, the function I'm trying to do real quick. And then I put my phone away when I'm taking a photo, going on social media, taking a call or all of the above. I can do that very quickly, seamlessly and portably, no matter where I am in the world. Uh, headsets are a, a bit of a different different ball game there. And... An Apple Watch, going back to the side by side, is a very passive experience where the headset is anything but passive. You're you are in it, and it's, it's very intentional. You have to go through many steps one through five before you're now the same as if you would have just lifted your laptop screen or touched your phone, and then you're in the the momentum of things. So, no, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't help, yeah. not yet. But that's because Apple needs to find its place first. And I hope they do. Otherwise, we're going to have another iPad OS situation. And 
<laughs> you right. Know, look how that turned out. Mm -hmm. I just feel like a lot of the UI, like figuring out Apple came forward with this whole, we don't need the controllers and we can just do eye tracking and the hand tracking and stuff. That gives all the competition basically a tutorial on how to make the most intuitive UI, which Apple didn't right. have that. They had to come up with that internally. And now the competitors are like, oh, well, Apple did all this work and figured out what was the smartest, most intuitive system. Now let's just duplicate that and do it for less. Now now we have the template. You know, Now we know what to copy, whereas before they didn't really know what to copy. Mm -hmm. um, so in that way, I feel like it kind of makes the job easier because... Mm -hmm. Meta probably feels like now we could, we could probably make the the next generation Quest Pro, we could make it cost thirteen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars, and people will still say, well, way cheaper than Vision Pro. So, they, they when they saw that price announcement, my guess is they were like cheering internally. They were just like, oh sweet, we have so much more margin to work with now. Like, oh, I didn't realize we just had to beat thirty five hundred. I thought we just had to be, you know, like 2000 or 1500 but I think the entry level uh quest can be focused on affordability, you know, the Quest 3 is like 499, which is way cheaper and there's already some overlap in the capabilities with the pass through cameras and the hand tracking I've been seeing people post. There's already some overlap, but uh there's no eye tracking and that kind of thing. So, uh when it, whenever the next gen Quest Pro launches, I feel like it will probably try to have a lot of feature parity with the Vision Pro for less money, mm -hmm. and likely try to follow a lot of the, uh, the eye tracking UI elements and tapping the fingers together. And um, I don't think they will. I don't think it'll outperform Apple's version, but it may undercut it and try to find places where they can cut corners where average average consumers won't notice mm. like okay does it need to be 4k micro oled per eye <laughs> does it need an eyesight display you know does it need all these crazy you know that the spatial audio speakers and the barrel plug or they, they find it doesn't need to be aluminum you know we can make it plasticky and we can find ways to cut costs and try to offer a similar type experience all right I think just the fact that there's now not just one... Well, it seemed like for a while, Meta just had to try to figure out the path on their own. And then they see Apple yeah. come in with what they're bringing in with their features, like, oh, mixed reality and all that. We want to double down on that and being able to not use controllers and all that. Meta can easily just take from that and be like, oh, okay, let's slap on a few more cameras on it. There we go. Now you can get for four ninety nine ninety nine, you get mixed reality and you can tone it back to virtual reality if you want. It's like, oh, that sounds familiar, right? And then with <laughs> being able to, like you said, give the eye, each eye its own tracking per se that's not reflected mm -hmm. in the current Quest lineup right now. But Sony's been trying you to do that. You know what I just thought of as you too. said that? Hmm. Do you need to track both eyes? Uh, if you have a lazy eye. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, why do you need to track both? I feel like they're usually... What's his name? Forrest Whitaker? <laughs> Forrest, okay. We lose out on the Forrest Whitaker market with that one, but we save oh. a lot of money by not including the IR sense. I don't know. I thought maybe... Oh, I know what you want! Maybe you actually I've seen it! it. <laughs> Sorry. That'd be, Sorry that'd be a... No, no, it's fine. I think that's a study in itself, right? Like... Do eyes go in the predicted locations that you think they go, each one of them, when looking at a certain object in a space, right? If you're looking all the it's way like the to the left or right. It's like the portrait mode thing. How so? We used to, Apple used to say, like, we need the two camera viewpoints to get an accurate portrait mode view. And now okay. they can just do it with one. Or, or Google, in the past, it was like face unlock with just a camera isn't reliable enough to do pay, uh, bank information and payments. And the now now with the new chip, they're saying it's consistent and foolproof enough that uh, they're willing to let you access bank accounts just through a 2D camera. There's no true depth camera system. There's no infrared sensor. And maybe 
some apple sheep out there doubt that, but I personally buy it. I think that the algorithms are probably getting good enough that they can tell the difference between a person's face and like someone holding out a printed photo. But I mean, I'm not one to talk. I'm the one who turned off the passcode on my phone. So I'm kind of like, yeah, it's probably good enough. It's probably like Apple still has all these sensors and cameras up there. If anything, they'll probably, I think I tweeted about that at one point. Maybe in the future I could see Apple saying, with the new neural engine we developed in the A18 Pro, it's so sophisticated, face unlock now works with just a camera and it no longer needs infrared sensors and the dot projector and everything. And everyone will go, mm, is it though? And then they'll test it and go, okay, maybe, but you know. They or might, if you're wearing an Apple Watch. Some way to. <laughs> Authentication enough. I, It'll I, be a better demo than the Craig one, that's for sure. I wish they, uh, I think, is this a hot take? It might be a hot take. Um, I, I wish we had Touch ID on, on iPhone as well. As well. Oh. As well. Not That's a cold take in my opinion. I know a bunch is of it? people who still want it. Man, I, I, then I'm talking to the wrong people. I, I feel like I get lynched at, you know, the a thought like, <gasps> no, you're fake. You're just, and they just like stone him. I was like, guys, it's just it's <laughs> touch ID. It was you quick. know what has, you know what has face unlock and fingerprint unlock. I feel like you're about to make a. Tell me. The Pixel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not wrong. pretty much like every Android phone. Yeah. On the market. I was like, what are you gonna say? It's like, well, if you turn off the face ID, then technically the iPad would have, but. I thought you'd go give me one of those. Well, you, <laughs> you know, the MacBook Pro has a notch for a reason, and if you put your finger on the top right of the keyboard. I remember asking that. I never got the answer. Can you connect the Magic Keyboard to an iPad and unlock it with Touch ID? Probably not, because it would require the iPad OS team to do something. But I, I still wanted to try it. I'll let you know in the next 30 days. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get a, so a, a USB C keyboard. What color will what what color would you get? Ooh. Get a green one. What if they have a green keyboard? If it's that if it's that neon bright mint green, no. Let me and send it's... you a picture of the current one. Okay. And I'll I like the I like the back of the green iMac. I don't like the front of the, the green iMac, but the back of it, the darker you need part. That darker oh did they not let you get them anymore well oh uh, what does that tell did you they take them off the site oh what does that tell selection? you yeah i don't see them anymore you can't buy them separately i know they come with the mac you used to buy them separately uh, the 24 inch oh yeah mike your iMac was green i'm pulling up the mm -hmm. photo right it now. was so I guess what I'm saying is you need to sell your AirPods and <laughs> you guys need to trade AirPods with keyboard. I, I can't because I don't own it anymore. My mother now owns it. I can't just steal a keyboard oh. from my mother. Nonsense. Says who? <laughs> Says a Here decent son. It. Yeah, it's a great keyboard. <laughs> a decent son. Oh, he already found it. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, I was. Is that shade acceptable? No, the one on the back. I like the green <laughs> on the back. The the ba back I iMac. Way he said, no, no. <laughs> you sound like the robot from iRobot. Oh man, no. <laughs> I haven't seen iRobot in a in a hot minute. iRobot's the one it's with on Robin Hulu. Williams, right? <laughs> no, he's thinking about uh, the Will, Will Smith. Smith one. Oh, Will Different Smith. Will. He says, keep my keep, wife's name. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so keep his wife. my iMac, keep those white bezels out your freaking Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, all right? I will. <laughs> okay, here we go. I will take this green. Oh, that's a terrible Oh, yeah. Pixel the green on the back of the iMac is pretty yeah, good. That's what I want. So, uh, give me something like that. I hope like we that. get a refresh. That'd be neat. It's time. The iMac is so ugly for so long and just 
still has the M1 chip and everything. Like I'm, I'm ready. I want to. I don't want an event, by the way. Do you guys want a keynote this month? No, I'm too busy this month. <laughs> I'm too busy. I can't watch a video. I'm too busy. I wouldn't to, mind one. To I like the uh, the transitions that they make. They're pretty cool. No, I want live or nothing. I'm tired of these polished videos. New, I want slip ups. New TVOS screensaver suggestion. Just transitions. There's no announcements. There's no people walking around. They just pan from the creek, go up to the top, and then go underneath and show the. If that was like a paid just... wallpaper, I'd totally buy it for like the Ooh. TVOS stuff. That'd be a fantastic now you're wallpaper. Ideas. Okay, this might, uh, depending on if you guys have last questions, this is probably my last question. In the era of software locking features, where they're including more things if you buy the new thing and you can't get it on the old thing, even though you t totally could, do you think Apple should or will, I guess you could specify either, bring back the concept of paying for software upgrades they used to do that not too long ago you had to pay for you know windows was like several hundred bucks and then mac os was like 20 bucks or 30 bucks to get an update what if they started doing that with features like unlock the the double tap thing on your apple watch for 10 bucks 20 bucks 50 i don't know like it's a membership or uh, you could unlock ProRes on your iPhone 15, Randy, if you spent a little bit more. Do you think they would do that, or is that too weird? They might be too ahead of the of the uh, of the curve here. I don't. That makes me feel gross. I don't want to subscribe <laughs> to another service to get hardware unlocking capabilities because it's software locked. The idea of yeah, no. Ooh, I hope they don't. This is what do Tesla that. does, <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I mean, look, from a business standpoint, it's how is that any different from you know running a trial on Adobe before they're like, all right, your trial day is over. Now you must subscribe. Um, Microsoft Office does it. Adobe, uh, Adobe. I don't even know what they call it anymore, but they're, the whole Adobe package does that. So when it comes to software, it's so commonplace. And Google was the first one to kind of help break that mold with docs and sheets and whatever. And so did Apple in their own, in their own right too. Like both of those guys were like, ah, we may just make them free. And then it's like, okay, well, now you can download Microsoft Word, iOS, and use it. That So that it, it kind of forced people to become... Uh, if if if, if, for, if Apple forced them to change that, to go back on it, I think it's not. Maybe that's Sage's problem. I will remember and I won't forget. <laughs> you know, I will like I will never. <laughs> but when he grows up, he wasn't around for that. He'd be like, "Wow, what a deal! I only have to pay five hundred dollars a month because inflation. Like everybody mm. will, you know that." That's how it works. <laughs> Five oh my goodness! <laughs> Look, yeah, you're right. I would even at, I at take some even point a step in our lifetime. That will probably be normal. I will even take it a step further and say, not only sh what could they do that, but it should be just to have your Apple ID pay a monthly something, and that Apple ID when oh, you yeah. play depending I on I totally your, believe that depending on your tier is depends on what you unlock. Some people say you're like you don't own your yeah. iPhone anymore. You're renting it. It's a lease. So certain yeah. tier now you pay twenty five a month gives you your iPhone, maybe fifty mm -hmm. gigs of iCloud Plus or something, and each one for the whole Apple one. Yeah, package. not long ago I think I I was even thinking like I, I could see Apple just dropping the free five gig tier. They force you to get iCloud Plus, so like everybody's automatically forced to get the fifty gig tier for a dollar a month. So it's not a huge <laughs> commitment, but they just that's the price of having an Apple ID. Yeah. Cost of doing business. I don't like you know? this feature. No. I don't like this feature, though. <laughs> I can see bad. that. I can see that happening. Did you see the chart? It was like, like the the Apple guy tweeted out. It's like the free iCloud yes! storage amount over the years. <laughs> it's just the... Five gigabytes every year. He flatlined. Uh, 
I was like, I wow, so thing. innovative, so brave. <laughs> so, How about you, Mike? Do you think they would go that direction of the pay to pay to unlock? Uh, I, in a world where subscription yeah. services, yeah, have uh, kind of just become the new version of TV in a bad way, where it's just parroting TV in the bad way. <laughs> but mm-hmm. now you're having to pay more. It's basically just pay for whatever TV package you want again. Um, with things like that kind of indicating that we are tending towards some type of dystopian future <laughs> tech. Um, <laughs> yeah, action it's possible. Money. <laughs> I don't like it, but <gasps> it is possible. That's why they want to make it capacitive. Oh, this God. explains the solid state buttons. They can deactivate them unless you pay. Ew. <laughs> the action button is only mappable when you subscribe. <laughs> Ew. This is Swipe bad. to subscribe. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. This is this is gonna happen. If this that, is why I'm focusing on budget stuff, by the way. If that this happens, I might just go get a jitterbug flip phone or something. But my ver- <laughs> my version I'll of join the jitterbug, you. yeah. But my version of that will be like the Z Flip or something. So that's not a jitterbug. <laughs> you, know. you keep coming back to Samsung. I'm I'm concerned to buy that. I am too. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about the me? Samsung truck. <laughs> I'm worried about I don't know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. It's happening. All right. Do you have any final thoughts, final questions? We're back. We made it through the episode and it posted. <laughs> and I can say it like that because if it doesn't post, they won't know, but we made it. Are we all thoroughly depressed? Oh, that's another uh Taylor's of Tech EV. Oh, you know what? Not a question. <laughs> But I will say this to the person okay. who wanted to write a review on our episode last week on Twitter. Someone reached, tagged me. Whoever this person <laughs> was said it's like we're trying to be a version of the waveform podcast absent of the charisma, <laughs> wit, fun factor, substance, and smarts. Well, first of all, jokes on you. We're none of those things. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, I, and I, I don't know. Here's no, a I'm hot take. I was surprised you responded to them. I was, I was like, curious. What are you comparing us? Yeah, I, well, I was, I was kind of curious. But uh, here's a hot take. I don't know if it's contra. I've never watched a waveform podcast episode before. I don't like to do my job outside of job hours. So, <laughs> Marquez, you get me with the B roll. I'll watch your videos, but I'm not. I'm not going to give you an hour of my life. I'm sorry. So I, I, I believe you that waveform is better. But guess what? We were first. So. That's true. Take take that. <laughs> we we're on the first podcast. Them. Yeah, you wouldn't have a waveform if it weren't for us. But you're, you're welcome. Sorry. So there you go. We paved the way. <laughs> That's it. And I'm taking full responsibility for that as well because I definitely started this podcast. Literally, too. first comment. That's us. That's us. So yeah, if people are watching this podcast to get tech spec updates. Listen, that's. I'm, we're talking to our friends here. We're just it's it, th- think of it as long term vlogging. It's like a live stream without reading the chat, so it's less stressful. I was gonna say we do this more for ourselves than we do. The audience is secondary for this. It's mostly just so we can yeah catch up. <laughs> you think I? You think you think I think that you care about my kids or my kid audience? <laughs> you don't. My my Let's friends care. There's a second one. Yeah. No. <laughs> There's no, no, trust me. No, there's not. But I know no one cares about my kid. That's, that's fine. I wasn't, this is, I'm talking to you guys. I'm, yeah, it's, it's okay. So I'm sorry if you don't like our rambling and I lost you in the third quarter of the, but I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't care. I know he's even so. listening to this at this point. You should have, you should have addressed this at the very beginning. So at least he No, because if he makes it to the listening. end, I want him to know I, I hear you, but I, I just don't care. That's my final thought. Joke's I on him. He listened to the whole podcast. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Clearly, it's like, I, I, I wanted to say, you must be the... new here because we do this yeah, every episode. <laughs> you must be new here. So I don't really care. You compare me yeah. to Waveform. That's fine. <laughs> we we don't have a million dollar studio that's like, and stuff. <laughs> I was gonna say that's like comparing a 
Honda Civic to a Lucid Air <laughs> Look. They both uh, have metal roofs. Okay. We don't get invites to Apple, so we know the lane that we're in. We're in the far right slow lane. He's over here in HOV lane. Where I'm it's not we are not the same. We're in the bike lane. <laughs> we are not the same. <laughs> there you go. All right. Sounds good. Thanks all for listening. Hopefully we have some new uh, USB-C keyboards next week, and we'll catch you in the next one. (laughs) Bye. Bye.